there you have it people episode three of dragon ball daima i gotta say people dragon ball daima has been a treat it has been such a treat to watch dragon ball come back after this whole time from 2017 to 2018 episode one two and three i didn't give no episode two review because hey i didn't have time to actually record the review but we did get some really good information out of there. But for quick points in that episode, we learned that Piccolo and the Namekian race actually came from the demon world. They're actual demons. People with pointy ears are demons. Like, dude, that, that's big news. We always knew he was Demon King Piccolo, but we thought the demon thing was like, hey, did he actually come from demon world? But we didn't know that at the time. So now we know we have confirmation that the Namekian homeworld or the original Namekian homeworld is from the Demon Realm, which is freaking awesome. But that's besides the point. Now we're here to talk about episode three. And boy, let me tell you something, people. If you weren't hooked on Dragon Ball Daima, the world building that they're slowly building up with Dragon Ball Daima right now is actually, it's getting up there. Like, it, it tr trust me, it's getting up there. It truly is. We'll start off the episode where Goku, Glorio, and Supreme Kai are talking on the lookout. And, or... The heavenly realm, we should say. And we learned one thing. The Supreme Kai is... We can actually get the Supreme Kai's race. He's a called a Glind. Like, that's new information. We didn't know that. Are they still going with the lore? If he's actually from the demon world, are we actually going to see the Mikai Shen tree? I don't, like, are we actually going to see that thing? Because the, the land of the Kais and stuff is, is very, very interesting. Lord Dragon Ball can always observe and stuff like that. It's very, very interesting to me. So... They get into the ship and they say Warp Sama. You see, you have a little gag and we actually get some clarification with Warp Sama. You, of course, you need the pin number like originally, but they didn't have the pin number. And you actually go up there and it's, hey, Warp Sama is like a gateway, like a, like a hub world. And then you go into there, you get to see the individual realms of the demon world, one, two, and three. That's very, very interesting because we find out that Glorio's from the third, but he says he does work in the first. And the Kai is the Glen. They come from Universe, not Universe 2, they come from uh, the Demon Realm number 2. We're probably going to go there at some point. Which is probably around, I want to say 2, maybe around where the Namekians are. I'm assuming because they're more deity-like. Or at least that's to me, because it's blue. You go blue, green. Hey man, it, it goes with the color scheme. It's, it's probably going to be a more aquatic kind of area, I, I should say. But they said the Kai's are more sophisticated. Either way, and Goku's sitting there making fun of the fish. That's pure Dragon Ball comedy right there. He's making fun of, hey, but you're our goldfish, right? But now, this, so they're in the demon world. And Goku's like, hey, they're just, they're exploring around. And of course, you see a town. But before you go see the town, you see the actual air. The air in this freaking area is heavy and thick because of the gas. That's also a stopgap, which is lore-wise, is a stopgap for Goku to get stronger. You can fight these enemies. And of course, you see the news types of random enemies, these demons from the demon world fight Goku with axes, hammers, clubs, blades, and stuff. The whole fight scene was small, but it's very, very interesting. And then they go into a town and say, hey, we got to do this. Shin is in there questioning Gloria, I should say. And at this point, I don't know if we should really trust Glorio. What, he's, he was sent by the king of the third demon realm on a secret mission because they don't like goma so oh yeah before i forget we do see a statue of the buddha or da buddha and it's like he was he actually a good king to the demon world he did with Bobby's bidding we don't know but he would say hey it's old so he said they're doing the peace sign like mr satan but man dude like the, the call this is like an official sequel to the boo saga which is freaking good like, this could actually work. This is after Son Goku, and, or is it before Son Goku and Friends? I'm not sure about the timeline bit. But it fits perfectly in the actual uh, area, man. It fits perfectly in the actual area. I almost said games. I'm playing Spark and Zero. But I gotta respect it, man. Like, this next sequence is very, very cool. Because Goku goes into town at nighttime. You see the neon sign. It's weird seeing Goku... In this weird area that's kind of like Dragon Quest or Blue Dragon. Of course, Kiritorino had his own bits and stuff like that with, with the games. But they said they're trying to eat. Of course, they want to get their hotel or whatever. They said they're trying to eat because Goku was hungry. You know how Goku is. He's hungry. And he has to get reacclimated to his, of his fighting skills. He's sitting there getting bad mad by these demons. Man, Goku put the paws on him. Like, the art and animation in this scene alone. Soul. It pretty much soul. It's like, listen. It's old martial arts style of Dragon Ball. Hands and feet and club, no energy blast, like straight martial arts, knuckle toe down, dodging. 
Like, it is such a good time, people. It is such a good time. Goku mops the floor with them. He's simply doing his backflips like in the freaking uh, World's Strongest movie. Good times. And after Goku defeats him, he's like, hey, let's, let's go to sleep, man. We got to get a room. Goes to sleep, wakes up. But at this point, you can't trust Glorio. You really can't. He, he's so elusive. And hopefully we'll see something him in the future. I wonder if he's actually working with, uh, not Neva, but the other Supreme Kai. You know, I forgot her name. I'm sorry, I forgot her name. But we'll see, man. That's a, that's a random theory, you know. They're probably, enemy of enemy is my friend or something. But they get their ship stolen by these guys and they got to get their ship back. So it's a pretty much cut and dry episode. I still give this episode, lore building wise, it's up there, man. Like, I'm not saying this because I'm a fanboy, but lore building wise, anything with new stories in Dragon Ball, I'm 100% all for. I'm tired of seeing the, because I played almost all the games. I'm tired of seeing the whole straight Dragon Ball Z saw going this way. I'm tired of that. Anything that's new content wise in Dragon Ball, I am here for. I'm 100% for the lore. A Glenn Supreme Kai. We got his race. We actually have some more information on the Demon Realm, which is good. And we also got information on some Glorio. And which is awesome. We haven't seen uh, the new character that's supposed to come in here yet from the trailer, but she's probably going to come in the next episode. Yeah, she actually is going to come in the next episode, so we'll introduce her. It's also a good time, man. Like, I got to say, if you're on the fence of this show after three episodes, you can drop it, but ultimately, it's Dragon Ball, and people will like it. So ultimately, I give my rating for this show a 9 out of 10. Only reason I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, there was a lot of talking. The combat was full. I would like to see some more combat in that little scene. But Goku's strong. He mopped the floor for lore reasons. It's pretty good. So that's all I got to say, people. Like, share, subscribe, and peace for some more anime content. Mm -hmm.